all I thought about. I would ask anybody I could what they knew about her. Then, okay, one day, so... I found something. What oh. I thought was a clue that could lead me to answers. Like or maybe even my mother. I waited for Dad to leave the house, put Ruby in a wagon, and headed out. A little red wagon. A little red I wagon, I used to walk yes. for hours. I think it's... I had cuts and bruises. I was totally exhausted. But I wasn't going to let anything stop me. When we finally got there, I could barely stand. But I didn't care. I had made it. And then I saw them. Those burning red eyes. There we were. A toddler asleep in the back of a wagon and a stupid girl too exhausted to even cry for help. We might as well have been served on a silver platter. But, as luck would have it, our uncle showed up just in time. Oh. Is her uncle a woodsman? My no, stubbornness should have gotten us killed that night. The, um, Ironwood. Yeah. No, that's uh, the Tin Man. Sorry, yeah. the Woodsman is the... And I understand what you're trying to tell me, but this no. is no, different. The I'm not a child, right and this oh. isn't just a search for answers. I can't just... I told you, I'm not draw? telling you to stop. <laughs> I have. <laughs> to this day, I still it. want to know what happened to my mother and why she left me. But I will never let that search control me. We're going to find the answers we're looking for, Blake. But if we destroy ourselves in the process, then what good are we? You don't understand. I'm the only one who can do this. Yeah. No, you don't understand. If Roman Torture walked through that door, what would you do? I'd fight him. You'd lose. I can't stop him. You can't even stop me. I'm not asking you to stop. Just please, get some rest. Not just for you, but for the people you care about. And if you feel like coming out tomorrow, I'll save you a dance. And she's with Blake, I guess. <sighs> Is it, was that like, yeah, you can. It's an interesting symbol. You know what? That's also, that symbol was in, in Oz. the Ozpen's office. Oh? Like, when you were looking down through the gears. Oh, uh, hey, what's it up? It was that. I know this is a little unorthodox, but I wanted to ask you something. Would you like to accompany me to the dance tomorrow? I think I... I didn't catch it fully, but I think it was also crows. Her, it looks her like uncles. a crow, yeah. Well, no, they, they had a little symbol with gears and something behind it when he showed up in the scene. He obscured oh, some okay. of it. But I think if we go back and look, we may oh, have to catch one. Oh, so that may have been the symbol that was at that building? Oh, or, yeah, yeah, or for him, or for their family or something. Well, can we have a serious <laughs> talk about how my spice in these? <laughs> Not much of a dress person. <laughs> Much of a heels person. No one is. Steve, put a shirt. <laughs> so, does this mean we're going together? Technically, though my first dance is spoken for. <laughs> Somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> I told you she would come. Mission accomplished. So, what do we do now? Just have fun. Like, you are my father. Does that mean I can change out of these stupid things and into my hood now? <laughs> I like how she slouches a little. Stupid. Stupid. Not enjoying yourself. Oh no! <laughs> her hair fine. has also changed. I'm just not in much of a fancy girl. Season, fancy. her hair is different. Fancy girl. Okay. Well, you can't sure spend your entire life on the battlefield, even yeah. if you may want to. Yeah, that lesson's been floating around a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, fighting and dancing aren't so different. Two partners interlocked, <laughs> although. One wrong move on the ballroom nearly leads to a swollen foot. Or a twisted ankle. 
It's not every day that friends are able to come together like this. Time has a way of testing our bonds. But it's nights like these that can help keep them stronger than ever. Nights like these are ones we'll never forget. You guys are just in time. Ooh, never nights like forget these are indeed. ones we'll never forget. Foreshadowing. Da, 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 da. Oh, Ooh. I like Ooh. that. That's nice art. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mic is on. Sweet. Um, we are recording. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Check. Um, you said something reminded you. Oh, we had a particular commenter responding to our questioning of Blake's ears. Oh yes. Why does Blake have four ears? Apparently, because uh, reasons. Yeah. Well, my favorite answer, and the only answer I will accept from this point on, uh, was as follows. You know, uh, they've got gun swords. They've got magic. They've got you know giant flying monstrous beasts that don't die and seek out humans. Uh, why are your ears the thing that you question? Well, honestly, I question her ears because the other things make sense within the fantasy setting, but... So do four ears. Yeah. But we I, haven't seen anything to... Yeah. Like, the I genetics? I can't, I can't argue what with... What genetics have magic? I can't, you know? I, can't, I can't argue with why not. Yes. <laughs> you know, why, why is that the biggest thing to question, you know? Yeah. Why is that? All right. Um, so well, this yeah. is, I, I, this was a really, uh, a really, uh, fun, I, I won't say fun, I, I think this was, this has actually been probably my favorite episode so far. Look, I nearly cried during that chalk scene, whatever, yeah, so, with the, uh, oh, the conversation there, I'll yeah. have to say, I, the juxtaposition of the silly versus the serious, mm -hmm. I think, not only mirrors the show, it's a really good sort of reflection on the show overall, because the show is really fun and really silly, and the majority of the show is jokes. It's, which wallpaper do I choose? Aren't they the same? I thought we said no doilies. That's like 80% of the show. Right. And the little serious bits that we get are very touching and moving, but it's a it's a funny show. And so I think that sort of highlights the the yeah. composition I, of the I, show. Yeah, I think I think that this episode I, I think that this episode really got the balance between them correct. Yeah. Um, and I do think it's notable that uh, the only janky on uh, animation that I noticed was when Blake and um, and uh, Yang were fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Known so, for your fight so, scenes. So everything. <laughs> what is the truth? Everything else was like really smooth, and <laughs> and then and then they're pushing each other. And they're just, <laughs> You're right. good at fight scenes. Be nice. What is the I truth? I turned it to myself. Um, yeah. And so. Uh, overall, I, I think that was uh, probably... Um, I think it's a good representation of the show and a good representation of the themes that Osben is talking about. They're children, they won't be children for long, let right. them play the part, let them be. So it's, it's a good, it's a metaphor for being puberty. Being puberty? <laughs> being going puberty. through puberty. Being a teenager. Being puber you know, puberty-esque. Getting, getting are those responses. Are you puberty right now? Are you puberty right now? It's more likely than you think. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, I'm Stan. I'm Kyle. And screw you guys, I'm, I'm going, going home. home. That's my line! Yeah, but it was really fun to say.